Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to use reactive screen components in screen flows. It's a very cool, powerful tool that you can use to kind of save time and make your user experience better. But if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. I'm putting out new Salesforce content each week. And let's jump into the video. All right, the first thing we need to do is actually turn this feature on it's in beta form right now. So if you see this video in the future, this feature may be turned on automatically, but for right now it is not. So to do this in quick find and setup, you're going to type in process automation and you're going to start typing it and you'll see it here, process automation settings. We're going to go to that. Now that we're here, what you're going to do is scroll all the way down in the next to last checkbox that says reactive screens make your uh, screen components react to changes on the same screen. You can opt in to the beta. Just check that box and hit save. Once that saves, now we can go into flow builder and we're going to do an example to see how these reactive screen components work. So let's go over to flow builder. If you don't know how to get there, just search flow and quick find, and then you can go to flows. And then from here, we're just going to hit new flow. You're going to want to make sure you select screen flow. You're going to hit and hit create. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the opportunity object here, and we're going to pretend like if we had a button here and we're going to pull in one of our opportunity records off of the account. And we're going to do some calculations using the reactive screen components, and we'll take a look at it. And let's go back over here to our screen flow. The first thing we're going to do is create a formula resource for our record ID that we're going to be passing to the flow. So we're going to have a variable here and we'll call this record ID. And this will be text. And I'm not, it's not a collection variable. We're going to only going to be sending one in and we're not going to do a default value We can hit done. Now let's go ahead and add in our get element so we can get our opportunity. And we'll just call this get opportunity. And then this is going to be the opportunity object here. Now filter um, your opportunity records. You're going to select record ID or opportunity ID, excuse me, equals. And this is going to be the variable we created called record ID. And we'll scroll on down and we're going to store the first record and store all the fields and we're going to hit done. And I'm just going to go ahead and save the flow because I don't want to lose any of my work. Let's call this opportunity flow. You can call this whatever you would like and hit save. All right. So let's just go ahead and start creating our screen. So we'll add the plus sign here and we'll add screen. And you can call this really whatever you want, but we'll call this uh, opportunity. And I don't want to show the header and the footer. We can leave all the buttons because that's really fine for now. And let's go ahead and pull in some information. And let's go ahead and put a currency field in here. And this currency, we'll call this amount. And the default value on this is actually going to be the opportunity from get opportunity. And it's going to be the amount for what we're doing. And we'll let it be two decimal places. And that's going to be your default value. Now we're going to create a new field, another currency field, and we're going to call this amount paid. And the default value we're going to leave blank and we're going to want to have two decimal places here. And let's create one more um, field here and we're going to call this balance. And we're going to put two decimal places here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go create a formula resource to calculate the amount minus what's paid to populate the balance field. So we're going to hit done. I'm just going to save my flow. Don't want to lose any of my work. And let's go ahead and create a formula resource. All right, formula, we'll call this um, balance You can call it whatever you'd like. And then down here, it's going to be currency. So the formula we want is amount minus amount paid. That's going to be your balance. We're going to hit done and we're going to go back into our screen and we're going to set that default value 
to our formula of balance. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit done and save. I'm gonna grab one of the opportunity records here. Uh, let's just grab this record ID and we're going to debug the flow. All right, we can enter our record ID in here and hit run and we've launched our screen. So as you can see, it has pulled in the number 235,000 and that is directly off the amount here. Now, let's just say they've paid $1. And as you can see, the balance automatically calculates immediately. But what if it was $1,000? And there you go, it took 1,000 off. What if it was 23,458? It automatically adjusts. What if it was an extra digit here? Oh, look at that. We have $416 left of this amount. So without the reactive component turned on, we would actually have to have a second screen for this to be able to calculate. This is what makes this so powerful. So if we take this down to a dollar, it changes. And, and that's really great. Now, obviously this flow, we're not gonna be able to save it because it's not updating anything, but really this is to just demonstrate how powerful the reactive screen component is. And one other thing you could do, you can actually change this amount part too and even maybe make it $20 and it automatically updates as well. But there is many more options you can do with the reactive screen component. This is just one example. I hope you found this informative. I've included the link to this article here. It is how to turn it on and opting into the Screen Components beta from the Spring 23 release if you want to take a look at it for yourself. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave it a like. That way I know to make more videos like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.